Well, the Cardinals wanted to get Larry Fitzgerald's new contract done before the start of the regular season. They've beaten that deadline by two weeks. Fitzgerald's agreed to a contract extension, eight-year deal worth $120 million. Jason LaCampora has the particulars of the deal and will join us a bit to break that down. Here's Fitzgerald's reaction. It's interesting. Uh, me and Mr. B had a conversation about that last week, and I told him just how much I hate this part uh, of, of, of sports. You know, growing up, um, since I was seven years old, this has been the game I love. This has been uh, something I've been so passionate about. And, um, you know, you don't have to talk about it on the business side. Sometimes it's a little bit uncomfortable, but I'm really happy to put it behind us. Today I was drafted, and, and, I, and I was able to shake Mr. Bidwell's hand on that podium. Um, I knew this is where I wanted to be. I feel so blessed to be a part of this community, and I'm just happy that I'm going to continue to be a part of it. Could one star player's deal affect another? Chris Johnson looking for a new contract as well. He greeted news of Fitzgerald's deal on Twitter. Congrats to Atletery Fitzgerald. God is good. Fitzgerald responded, thanks, CJ. You up next, my guy. So with that in mind, Chris Johnson is back in Nashville. He returned to town yesterday, but not because he's ready to report. Titans general manager Mike Reinfeldt said that the two sides haven't even agreed to the parameters of the deal. So, quote, there's no sense making offers. If you're talking a different language, then you're wasting your time. Johnson, by the way, just back in Nashville for a business meeting. Jason LaCanfora, more on this in a little bit. But Adams had some quotes on the deal that is yet to get done. Quote, I'm not going to make any offer with the way he's acting. Life's too short, Adams said. I'm not going to interfere. If he doesn't want to come in and play, then he doesn't want to come in and play. He is drawing the line in the sand, Marshall. Drawing the line in the sand. Well, Frank Gore only had a short holdout, but according to Pro Football Talk, the contract situation with the Niners is volatile, and the next step could be a request for a trade. Gore reportedly wants D'Angelo Williams' kind of money, which is five years, $43 million, $21 million guaranteed. Gore is set to make just under $5 million this season, the last year of his contract.